guys, Robin with Big Doodle Dreams. And right now I have Miss Aspen with us. And Miss Aspen is a golden doodle. And she's pretty awesome. She's actually a multi-generational. She is um, one that, that I have had the, the opportunity to be a part of making. And um, she's, she's just, she's such an awesome girl, but she's a multi-gen and you can see that, that she's actually fairly small. She is an adult. Um, and if I stand up, you'll see the difference. Yes, I know. Mwah. So for being an adult, she's actually fairly small. She's not that big full size standard that you might think of. You'll also notice that she has a curly coat. So she's multi-generational. This means that she has not one, not two, but more than three generations of golden doodle behind her. And her coat, like I was saying to you, is very curly and it does not shed, but she is still a golden doodle. So let's, let's talk about golden doodle. So golden doodle is created from a golden retriever and a poodle. Both a golden retriever and a poodle are essentially water retrievers. They like to retrieve, they like the water, and they like to retrieve in the water. And obviously when you take a water retriever and you breed it to a water retriever, you essentially get yet another water retriever, which is exactly what a golden doodle is. You just have the nice hypoallergenic component, you know, for those that want to have you know, the, the golden retriever part of the dog, they don't want to necessarily have a poodle. Um, this gives you that opportunity. Um, what I can tell you from raising them is that because they tend to be a little larger, most dogs that, that are a little larger take longer to raise. They take longer to, you know, to grow up, to mature because their bodies are going to get bigger. In her case, she's not all that big. She did not take as long as those first generations that I'm referring to. So first generation is when you take just a golden retriever and you go to a poodle and a full size poodle. And, and those would be bigger and, and like I said, slower to mature. Um, so her size is smaller. You're you know, thinking about your joints and your hips, your larger size golden doodle increases your likelihood for hip and joint problems. She is, she is not, of course, she's been health tested. Just, you know, go through all my videos. You'll see, you'll see the information on health testing, but, um, so golden doodle is going to be very similar to raising either a golden retriever or a poodle because they are both water retrievers. Yes. So first generations, are typically larger than her and have the possibility of shedding. The further you watch into this video, you'll see, because I'm going to move from her and I'm going to show you what a first generation golden doodle looks like. And, and then we'll return to her. All right, so this is a first generation golden doodle, unlike the one that I showed you earlier, that is a multi-gen. The thing I wanted to to make note of to be able to show you is this guy's size <laughs> how tall he is in comparison to all of the other dogs that I've shown you guys now he's not mine I didn't make him but he was here for grooming because um his parents like his coat much shorter so this is this is their preference but he is a first generation he does not have that super curly curly coat like what you would have with more poodle he has more shaggy. Why don't you turn and face the camera, silly? Face the camera, look at the camera. Say, so we have a wet day today, so it's not great. Um, so he is a first generation. He is bigger because his parents, his mommy is a full size standard and his daddy, of course, is a golden retriever. Um, and he's, he's not done growing. So your first generations do get bigger. You have a increased risk for um, hip, and joint problems because of size um, and because of size they grow slower so they are longer and, and take more time to fully mature 
um, versus your dogs that, that don't get nearly the same size. I know, I love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I get doggy kisses all day long, I have to tell you. So this big guy, yes, he was just here for grooming, just visiting me, but he does shed first generations. Um, some will shed a little, some will shed a little more. He's, he's kind of in between. He doesn't leave a ton of hair on the brush when I start brushing him, but he definitely has some shedding. So, but this is, this is a great example of a first generation golden doodle. So. Well, now you've had the chance to see the difference between multi-generational versus that first generational big guy that you saw previously. And um, I, I hope that I was able to answer some of those questions. Um, water retriever, water retriever, this is not Aussie Doodle, is not a mixture where you have herding. It's not a mixture where you've got a working or or a hound in it. This is literally water retriever to water retriever and you get water retriever, which is exactly what you are, aren't you? Yes. She's a sweetheart, just a doll. So please subscribe to my channel and find me, like me, and let me know if I can answer any questions. And I hope to see you guys soon.